أور إلى أنت إمام إمام حسن الأسكري عليه الصلاة والسلام quoted a very long uh, narration from the sixth Imam where the sixth Imam actually was talking about the situation of the Yehud, the Bani Israel, the Israelites. And he was saying that one of the problems why they went into the path of misguidance was because they were blindly following their rabbis. And then the Imam says that and similarly, and these are the words of the sixth Imam, and similarly, if the common people of our community know in their religious scholars that they are open sinful persons, openly sinful, they have strong racial you know, biases, they have greed for the vanity, uh, vanities of this world and luxuries of this world, and for the forbidden things in this world and they would be opposed to those whom they should be supporting because those who are on the opposition are on haq and if they are supporting those who are close to them although they know they are on falsehood if you see these characteristics among your religious scholars then whoever follows such religious scholars they are no different from the Israelites of the past who were condemned for blindly following their rabbis. But, and this is the hadith is continuing, but if there is anyone among the religious scholars, the jurist, the faqaha, who is number one in control of his own desires, protects his religion, suppresses his own evil desires, and is obedient to the commands of his master, Almighty God, then people should follow him. Awam and yuqalliduhu. Then people should do the taqlid of such a faqih. And this is where he ends by saying, وَذَلِكَ لَا يَكُونُ إِلَّا بَعْضَ فُقَهَاءِ الشِّيْءَ لَا جَمِيْهُمْ The sixth Imam says that these qualities you will not find among all the Shia scholars and fuqaha. No, only some of them. Because if you start following a religious scholar who doesn't have these four qualities, then the Hadith goes on to say that the harm that such a person will bring on the community would be worse than the harm brought by Yazid on Imam Hussein bin Ali alayhi salatu This is where we have to realize one of the conditions is وَحَافِظًا لِدِينِهِ He should be somebody who protects his religion on behalf of the community. If you have somebody who says to you that I believe that Shiaism, 80% of Shiaism is fabrication, then it means there is a serious problem there. You don't need to be a mushtahid or an alim or a marja to realize that there is a problem there.